So, Mo, your, uh, your dad has kind of come out publicly and said, um, you know, he doesn't think you're a good fit with the Warriors. I think probably mostly because of their star power they already have at, at the guard position. Uh, do you agree with that sentiment? And if the Warriors did decide to take you at two, um, how do you see yourself in what is a very unique situation uh, there? Uh, well, I'm my own man. He his own man. So he has his opinions. I have mine. And like I said, I feel like I can play on any team, do good anywhere I go. So. Keg in my inbox filled up, firewalls, I got my empire all built up. I know Rome was it built in the day. I live by lake, Rome and Rolling Stone, it begins with Alright, what's good YouTube? It's Ball Believer back here with another video. And in today's video, man, LaMelo Ball really just called out LeVar. I'm not going to lie. And we're going to talk about it. Now, before I get in the video, I just want to make sure you guys give a like on this video. The goal is 100 likes. Let's make sure we hit it if you enjoy the content that I put out. Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications to get a new notification every time I upload a new video so you won't miss any of the content that I put out. Alright, now in a recent interview that came out, LaMelo was actually getting interviewed because, of course, not many people as such as NBA teams have been talking to him recently. Because of course everyone needs to keep their distance so it was actually a virtual interview. But a lot of reporters were asking him different questions and one that came up was actually asking him that LeVar had commented saying that the Golden State Warriors weren't going to be a good fit for him. Now LaMelo responded with this by basically saying he's his own man he makes his own decisions. Now that's really interesting because if you think about even in the past, LeVar was really the spokesperson for the whole family. Jello, Lonzo, and Mello, he was really speaking for all of them and they pretty much stayed quiet and just listened to what he said. But now obviously Mello's getting older and he's making his own decisions and he thinks it may be a good fit for him. Now personally, I think with all the stars and guards that they have on the team, I don't think that would be a good spot for him and I don't think he would really get the shine that he could if he went to a different team. But it's definitely interesting to see, it looks like Mello might be growing up a little and he's really out here calling LeVar out saying don't speak for me. Now, of course, there is still a bit of time before the NBA draft is actually going to happen because it's in November. But of course, everyone is waiting with anticipation to really see where LaMelo is about to get drafted. Now, there's actually some talks saying that the Timberwolves are actually interested in taking a chance on him. And LaMelo had even said his dream was to be the number one pick in the draft. And you know what I'm saying? It just might happen. Who knows? Now, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see where he ends up getting drafted. But for sure, I know LaMelo will be valid wherever he goes. All right, now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to make sure you guys give a like on this video. The goal is 100 likes. Subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel if you watch the video at all. And turn on post notifications so you don't miss any videos that I put out. And make sure you leave a comment down below where you think LaMelo's getting drafted and you think he's really ready and prepared to make a difference in the NBA and really do something on the court. All right, it's Bo Believer Mo.